Hi, I'm Danny Abe, executive producer at 343. And this year at E3, we we're really excited to announce Halo Anniversary to the world. We wanted to give an example of campaign, so we used Silent Cartographer to really highlight some of the exciting features we're developing for the game. And now we want to share this with the rest of the world. So this is really your chance to get a behind the scenes peek at what we're doing with Halo Anniversary. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so let's dive right in and take a look at Silent Cartographer. This is exactly the same demonstration we gave to the press at E3. In fact, this is exactly the same build. So the exciting thing is that this build has come a really long way since we showed this at E3. It's kind of funny for me to look at it now and say, hey, the game looks much better now. So the first thing you're going to see immediately on the fly-in is the graphical upgrade. I mean, the game looks fantastic. We spent a lot of time really lovingly bringing this into the current generation and, you know, working very hard to make sure that this looks like a current generation title, something everyone can look at and just say, wow, this game looks fantastic. But the big test is really how does it feel? So let's take a look. So we're going to charge the uh, charge the beach here. First thing you're going to get a taste of when you pick up this game and start playing is that this plays exactly like the original. That was a core development principle for us, is this game needed to play exactly the way it did 10 years ago. I mean, this is the game that launched a generation of shooters, so we had to make sure that that feeling was identical to that experience that everybody remembered 10 years ago, because this is really a gift to the fans. This is a way to relive the experience of playing Halo 1 for the first time, so we really wanted to make sure it was identical. And the way we did that was uh, actually a fun technical trick. We're actually running portions of two engines at the same time. So the underlying code, the code controlling how the game feels, how the AI reacts, all of that stuff, uh, is a lot of it's the original Halo 1 code. And that was really the best way for us to ensure that the game played exactly the same as it did 10 years ago. But on top of that, we've layered a new graphics engine that allows us to, you know, make the game look fantastic and look like a current generation title. So it's really a great mix of the two. So at the end of the day, you know, your Halo fan gets a game that plays exactly like they remember, but looks like a current generation title. We get some other benefits from this as well. You know, as I said earlier, and I say this all the time, the primary goal for this game is to make sure Halo fans can relive the experience of what it was like to play 10 years ago. And one of the big tools we have in our box through that is classic mode. So what's classic mode? At the touch of a button, you can swap back and see how the game looked 10 years ago. So here it is. This is, you know, Halo 1 10 years ago. And it's really a magical feature for Halo fans because this just lets you go back in time and see exactly how this game looked 10 years ago. But the fun part is you can come back at any time. So classic mode gives you the ability to go back and forth whenever you want at the campaign. So one of the things that's fun to do is get out to a spot like this that, you know, just looks beautiful. You've got the water, the sun reflecting over it, the Halo ring in the background and say, hey, what did this look like 10 years ago? Touch a button and there it is, right? I mean, it's really, really, really a lot of fun to go back and forth between the two modes. And this is something I personally get the most excited about. And I think, you know, the fans are really going to love it too. This was definitely a big win at E3. As you can see, the other benefits you get from the new version is you've got the splash effects, the dust effects as you get back onto the beach. The game just looks great. The other thing that's fantastic is for the first time, you know, we're going to have co-op over live for the campaign. So you can hop onto the Warthog with a buddy and just plow through this game and, you know, start mowing down grunts and elites and, you know, just team up with a friend. Get on, go, you know, hook up on live and play through the campaign together. And, you know, we think people are really going to love that too. I often say, what would Halo 1 be without the Magnum? And, you know, of course the Magnum's back. Everyone remembers that fantastically overpowered pistol that just enabled you to walk through and just mow through hordes of enemies. Tremendous amount of fun. So, you know, we're excited to bring that back as well. Again, you know, you can see the game plays exactly the same as it did. Cannot highlight that enough. That was really, really important for us to make sure that this game played the same as it did because this is a really an iconic game. This is the game that convinced a lot of people, myself included, that you could actually have a fun first-person shooter experience on the console. I mean, I was a hardcore PC shooter guy, you know, who said you're never going to make a game on the console that is going to, you know, make me want to play. And this is the game that changed my, you know, my impression of it. And it's the same for millions of Halo fans. And those fans, that's who this game is for. You know, this game is really a labor of love for us here at 343, and we're really excited to be able to present it to you. So there's your sneak peek of Silent Cartographer. Really just the tip of the iceberg. We've got a lot more features we're going to announce as we get closer to launch. Come to Halo Fest at the end of August and see the whole game in action. See you then.